What a sad episode of Goblin Slayer today. It was... It was very emotional. It was a slice of life episode. There were some good moments, but it was also a sad episode. And let me explain the reason why. When the episode opens up, you see Goblin Slayer reflecting on his past. And you can assume that that entire monologue at the beginning is basically the lines he was probably thinking inside of his head at the end when he was looking up in the sky by himself at that night. Most likely that's the lines he was thinking in his head. And it's just a very interesting way to start an episode and it gives a lot of clarity to what type of person Goblin Slayer is and what emotions, what, you know, dreams he had before everything was just burnt into flames once the goblins attacked his, you know, his village and what happened to his sister. He was a man, or a boy, that had dreams to become an adventurer, to one day go in, become a hero, a platinum rank hero, to be able to stand up against the Demon King's armies, bring them down, you know, have peace, you know, have fun, and... He was even satisfied with the fact that even if he couldn't become a hero, he would at the very least would want to go on an adventure. And it's a very sad, sad outlook on his character because when we think about what Goblin Slayer has had to go through, what he's still going through, he's a man that's very broken. And seeing how he does still think about this on what he wanted to do and now what he really is, it, it really is a reflection on what real life is. Because let's be real with each other. You know, in life, when you have a dream, a goal, what you want to accomplish, it doesn't always work out. I mean, certain goals I wanted didn't work out, I'll be honest. Like, I mean, I was a man that wanted to go to college and become a graphics designer. That's what I wanted to be. Obviously, I'm not doing that right now. I'm actually a YouTuber, but, you know, that's beside the point. Just not everything always works out, and you never really get what you maybe always want. It, sometimes you're just... A random dice is thrown, and you end up with a random objective, or a random in-game goal, and it, you, it's not what you expected. And in this case, that's what happened to Goblin Slayer. He was an individual that wanted to be a certain thing. He wanted to go on adventures, but he lost it. And seeing how he starts reflecting on how the future is going to be, and how he feels like, you know, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't have the answer to what's going to happen when one day his body's going to break down and he won't be able to do anything. It's just a, it's a sad outlook on life because that's honestly how it is for everyone in real life. Not just in the show, but in real world too. It's like, we go day by day, and you see throughout this episode, days are passing. Like, three to four days pass in this episode. You see how he constantly has this routine. He gets up, he checks the fence post and all of that, and, you know, he checks the fields and everything. And just seeing how he goes by this, you know, routine every single day, it reminds me a lot of how life is, real life is. People get up out of bed, they take a shower, they get some food, they get ready for work or school, whatever, and, you know, they get ready to go about their day. There's a routine people have to do. And, you know, days pass by and you don't realize with every single day you wake up, you're getting closer and closer to the day to when you can't really either get back up out of bed or you won't be able to do the routine that you once did because it's long gone. Those days of, you know, being young and being able to do whatever you want is done. And that's what I find so amazing about this episode is how Goblin Slayer was just in such a, bit, a deep thought, basically trying to figure out, you know... What will he do when he reaches that point? Will he, you know, be someone that's just going to die in combat? Will he just quietly, you know, retire and die after, you know, his days are done? What will he do? I mean, there is some obvious, you know, hints of what potentially he could do. Like, it was stated in this episode that there was a training hall that was being set up. And most likely, if I had to assume anything, the answer I think Goblin Slayer might arrive to is that if he can't stay around, at the very least, he should be around to, you know, teach the next generation of how to handle goblins or what, you know, goblins are, how dangerous they really are. I feel like that may be his answer, like the answer he's going to arrive to. If it's not maybe his, you know, descendants or anything, if he does have children, you know, it will be, you know, him basically teaching adventurers or, you know, people that are interested in his craft on what to do or how to handle themselves. So, I think that's probably going to be his answer at the end of the day, but it's just a very sad episode because, you know, it's something that everybody must face in life. Even if it isn't as extreme as taking down goblins or going on adventures like we see in this series, you know, real life is very similar. It's just like that. I mean, it may not be as heroic, but it's how it is. So, anyways, 
This episode did also have a lot of comedy added into it. I mean, we had stuff with the dwarf and the elf, which, by the way, <laughs> probably one of my favorite scenes in terms of just comedy. Because, I mean, look, I think everybody by now knows I love LOTR, and I love Legolas and Gimli's relationship in LOTR. It's just seeing, you know, Anvil and then seeing our dwarf basically just, you know, having a drinking contest. I couldn't help but chuckle because it reminded me of when Legolas was drinking and having a party and he was just won the entire contest. It's what reminded me of it because, you know, elves in LOTR, they're OP. They can pretty much do anything. They're good at everything. And, you know, what... You think of dwarfs, they're usually capable of being able to drink a lot. That's usually in their myth or whatever. But in LOTR, the dwarfs lost elves. They always did. And Legolas won. And it's nice seeing how the dwarf in this series actually won because it does make sense. And I'm glad the elf girl actually lost the drinking contest. It's just, it's hilarious. And I just do love seeing stuff like that because it just reminds me of the time when I was really nerding out on Lord of the Rings. And I just love seeing these little nods or references or things I just love in mythology and, you know, fantasy. So, anyways, let's talk about how Goblin Slayer in this episode... He's gaining a big group of friends. I mean, we've known that he's had a party to adventure with, and we know that he's slowly opening up as an individual, gaining humanity. But seeing just how many people around him sitting at a table eating with him, it's a very emotional scene because it kind of goes back to what happened earlier on in the episode when he was sitting down at the dinner table eating food with his older sister. See, his older sister made him some stew or whatever, and he ate it, and he said it was great, but he forgot really what it tastes like because that was the last time he ever got to taste it. And, you know, you see in this episode where people are like, it's really good to be able to eat food with others. It tastes a lot better. And, you know, it's obvious that the Goblin Slayer really hasn't got to sit down and have fun while eating. He's always just probably ate just to go day by day to be able to kill more goblins, but seeing him sit down, eat with others, and have a big group around him just chatting and having fun, I think that probably is something that Goblin Slayer isn't really used to, but he's reminded of, you know, the days of when he was with his sister and when she used to look out for him. You probably see something very similar in that, of how all these individuals care about him, want him to be happy, but he might not be able to ever find that happiness because of how he is and just how his anger and his rage towards goblins would probably never be gone. But okay, um, one big thing to really get into though besides all of that, let's see here. Um, I do want to talk about the fact that within this episode, we also have a scene to where the night dude that obviously has never really liked Goblin Slayer, you know, didn't recognize him at all in this episode. And I was chuckling because like... See, the dude obviously has the hots for the guild girl, and we can even see that. And it's obvious the guild girl has the hots for Goblin Slayer. And seeing Goblin Slayer walk in and all that, you know, having no armor on, he's like, who are you? I don't recognize you. And, you know, Goblin Slayer's like, Soka, Soka. And I just, <laughs> like, really? You can't, you can't, you know, understand this man? Not just by the voice, but just him saying, Soka, Soka. So, and I'm just like, how could you not recognize this man by the way he talks? It's just so iconic at this point. It's not just about goblins, it's just how he always answers pretty much with the same line. And this man not recognizing, I'm like, how dense do you have to be? And seeing the witch girl come in, it's like, oh, you know, there's no quest over there, so don't you don't need to look. He's like, oh, Soka. And then, you know, moves on. Just, um... I love the scenes. I love the little comedy scenes in this series. It definitely, it might not be the most entertaining for everyone, but it's still just fun to see stuff like that that gives life to this series. But okay, what else is there left to talk about? I guess that's pretty much about it. So what else is there left to talk about? I think that's pretty much about it, honestly. I think that's, uh... Everything. The episode's pretty simple besides basically setting up for the upcoming episode where goblins were scouting out where Goblin Slayer's been staying, so it's very clear that we're about to have a big fight for the finale of Goblin Slayer, which I am looking forward to. Oh yeah, one last little thing. I do really like this embarrassing moment with the priestess and how she's really becoming self-aware of how much she truly loves Goblin Slayer. I just find it adorable, and I do wonder if there will be a time when Goblin Slayer eventually will choose the girl he wants to be with before the story is over to probably carry on his children. But that's about it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy my content, you know, 
please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you want to get notified for whenever I upload a video, please click the bell icon down below. Because for some reason, even if you click the subscribe button, you don't always get notified. So if you want to get notified for when a video is uploaded, you have to click the bell icon. And this goes for all YouTubers, not just me, but everyone on the platform. So even if you don't do it for me and you don't care about me, do it for the YouTubers you care about because it will help them out a lot. You'll have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.